Hi guys, welcome to another one of my videos. Tonight I'm actually in the kitchen and I've got some friends coming over tomorrow and I thought I'd cook some pancakes for breakfast. So I'm going to just prepare them tonight so they're ready for us in the morning. All I have to do is to throw them in the fry pan. So let's prepare this pancake mix tonight. Now what we're going to need is we're going to need some self-raising flour, some white granulated sugar, I've got some ground cinnamon, I've got some vanilla essence, I've actually got a little bit of brown sugar here as well, and I've got a couple of eggs, and of course some milk, a mixing bowl, a whisk, a spoon, and a wooden spoon as well. So let's put all these ingredients together. So I'm not going to give you the exact measurements, just the proportions, depending on how many you need to make. So let's get cracking. So what we'll do is grab the bowl and we're going to have three portions of flour. So this can be cups, it can be spoonfuls, it can be kilograms. Uh, it just depends on how many you need to make. And you can always store this in the fridge for later on if you have too many. So that's three portions of flour to one portion of sugar. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a few grams of brown sugar in there as well, just to give it a little bit of different texture. In fact, I'm making this for five adults. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double that mixture three more of these or thereabouts one more of these they were heaped so I'll just put a bit more in here and a dash more brown sugar perfect we'll just stir those together And make a well in the middle. So into that we're going to put the two eggs, a dash of vanilla extract and why not a couple of shakes of cinnamon. Okay so now we're just going to take some milk and we're just going to put enough milk in there to make it about a cup full. We're just going to add about a cupful of milk to make it liquid and then we'll start mixing it together. Just fold the flour into the milk. And now you just need to add the milk gradually until you get the right texture. So let's add a bit more there. Once the flour has absorbed all the milk, it doesn't take long before it becomes very watery if you add too much. So from this point on, we're going to do it rather gradually. So you can see that still needs a little bit more milk. Now look at this, nice consistency. So we'll just keep stirring that now until the lumps have gone. We can use a whisk, but I think uh, I won't need it at this stage. I'll just use the wooden spoon. There's a few little bits of brown sugar in there that hasn't dissolved yet. Now this mixture will make about 15 pancakes. 
I'll leave it till the morning to cook them. Now with this mixture, we just let it sit uh, for about an hour. Cover it with a tea towel, clean tea towel, and just let it sit there for a little while just to expand a little bit. Uh, however, I'm going to put it into a container and store it in the fridge overnight. And then in the morning, we can cook our pancakes. So let's run over to the sink and we'll pour it into a container. So in the sink, I've just got an empty container. And here's my mixture here. And all I'm going to do is pour it into this little hole in the top. That's why I have it over the sink. In case I make a mess. How's that? Pretty steady hand for someone that only has the use of one arm. Now that's probably made about a litre of mixture. In the morning we'll add a little bit more milk because that would have thickened up a little bit. Give the bottle a bit of a shake once the milk is added and we'll have our mixture ready to go. Good morning guys, welcome back to my pancake video. And this morning we're gonna finish off what we made last night. We made the mix last night and now we're going to cook the pancakes. So I'll just show you quickly how that's done and then we can get to eating it. So it's only gonna take a few minutes. Let's get cracking. So just open up the container we packed. Now you'll see that it's a, quite a good consistency there. It just flows nicely. So I won't need to add any more milk, but if you do want to, you can just add a little bit more milk, give it a good shake, mix it around. And also if it's a little bit watery, you can always add a little bit more flour. But let's see how it goes. So I've just got a fry pan here, a nonstick fry pan on a medium heat. And I've just greased it with a little bit of butter, just to give it a little bit of a slip. And then all we do is we just measure them out approximately about a 10, 15 centimeter circle. Just let that sit there now and let that cook. And after a little while, you'll start to see bubbles appear. I'm not sure if you can pick that up. The bubbles are starting to form now. And when it gets to about that stage, we just grab our spatula and Give it a flip. And there we have it. So that's all we need to do. Now all we need to put down there is a little bit of maple syrup or some margarine and a sprinkling of sugar. Whatever you like as a topping you can throw on top and make a little short stack. Perfect. So guys, these pancakes are renowned throughout the world. I've cooked them in China, South Africa, the United Arab Emirates, Australia of course, and now here in Malaysia and Brunei. It's as simple as that. The mix is not difficult at all. So instead of paying five, six dollars for those expensive packet brands, all you need is one portion of flour, one third of a portion of sugar, one egg, and some milk. Thanks for watching guys. Catch you in the next video. Bye for now.